The good news about UF Psychiatry is here. We're in the middle of the campus and we have a very big footprint. Researching and treating addiction is a huge focus at UF Psychiatry. It's probably the, arguably the major focus of our department. And uh, it's part of the reason why I enjoy working here is because uh, our department recognizes the uh, critical uh, role of an addiction treatment program in, in the lives of potentially millions of different Americans who need it. The reason is that our addiction psychiatry group has an inpatient dual disorder evaluation and detox unit. It has a residential treatment facility and it has an evaluation and treatment program for impaired health professionals. The problem of impaired physicians is, is a big one. Just like one in ten individuals will be affected by a substance dependence issue at some point in their life, that same statistic applies to healthcare professionals. Healthcare professionals are, are not immune uh, to those problems. When you look at the critical elements of physician treatment, you look at contingency management. Because physicians typically are required to have long-term treatment, a minimum of 90 days in a, in a high-quality residential treatment program, followed up by intensive monitoring, they do much better. You know, having that sort of safety net allows them the chance to, to enter recovery in a safe way and really get invested in a recovery community so that they can save their careers and go back to being productive members of society. Over time, as they heal, they feel better physically, their career comes back, their family is reunited, their motivation changed from external to internal, recognizing, you know, I have a problem and this way of life is much better. The outcomes for impaired professionals were greater than 80% full recovery return to work at five years. So the outcomes are many times greater than what most people expect. With respect to my own recovery, uh, that has been a help in that it gives me empathy and helps me understand where the people are at and the pain in their life at that time and also the hope. I've come back, I'm an example of recovery and it provides I think a hope for those patients that they can get better themselves. In addition to addiction, we have child and adolescent psychiatry as a main focus, autism, learning problems, attention problems, adult psychiatry, and of course we're in Florida, so we have geriatric psychiatry. I've worked for 30 years on food and food as an addiction. There are many people who have eating disorders, also have substance use disorders. Uh, in addition, um, when someone has both disorders or has both you know, substance problems and eating disorder problems, um, it, the treatment really needs to center on treating both of them um, in order for the individual to get better. We treat patients who are as young as 11 years old to as old as uh, 72 years old has been our oldest patient and we treat both men, women, boys and girls. We're, we're fortunate here at UF to have a number of faculty that are boarded in specialties other than psychiatry. Um, more speci specifically uh, psychiatry and internal medicine and to have an internationally recognized uh, Center for Movement Disorders and Neurorestoration. We have a, a, a complete um, uh, spectrum of brain stimulation technologies, including DVS, ECT, uh, TMS, and now we're also in, in enrolling patients in a deep TMS study for smoke and cessation and OCD. From a research standpoint, I think many people would be very interested in the trials that we're doing here. They're groundbreaking. Um, it's with world class, the world-class research team um, in a great patient-centered um, quality environment. Being in an academic center at University of Florida, you know, we're um, always teaching medical students and, you know, kind of the next generation of, of uh, of leaders and, and physicians and providers. We have access to experts that you don't have in, in the general treatment communities and we have really from bench to bedside covered and so we can take findings from the lab or findings from our clinical research trials and implement it very quickly with the treatment population. I think we have a unique set of 
people at UF. And I think the ability to be able to mix and match and provide individualized care and show results over the many years is why people come here. Because the University of Florida uh, College of Medicine attracts patients from other facilities and from other cities, we really have to be able to offer comprehensive evaluations by experts that they couldn't get elsewhere.